All right. I'm not excited about it, but we're back to finish hack time. And the only reason that we're back is because I uh, checked to see uh, how many levels there are. Um, rather than obfuscating the, uh, the end of the game, uh, turns out that there are 76 levels to hack time. Um, which means we might as well. We might as well keep going. <sighs> we'll see how far we get. I don't know. I can't promise I'm going to make it to the end. I really can't. Uh, <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's get it over with. Let's do it. Okay. Um, we were in the midst of, um, oops. Um, uh, we were trying to figure out how to, uh, what were we doing? <sighs> Shit, what were we doing? We were trying to reset Jacob's password, but I can't remember what our hint said. Um, fuck. Um, Ethan was the administrator in the system, right? Can he reset the passwords? No. Um... Employee ID Jacob is an active user in the system and their account has been marked. Password reset prohibited. This is the problem we had last time, right? Um, okay, so then I'm going to go back and we're going to ask for that hint again. It's exactly what it says before. There was, was there, I think there was a, um, there is an answer. I've never used the answer before. I've never used the hint until we got to hack time. Um, although I've been playing fast and loose with the hints because I want to get this shit over with. I've never used the answer. Let's just see what the fuck we're supposed to do. Cake. Oh, that's where I was. Nine. Yeah, that's Ethan's RSH. Logs, errors. We're supposed to look at the error logs? Fuck me. I was so close. The fuck? How did I do this before? How did I do this before? Is this not exactly what I'm typing? Logs. Oh, seven seventy nine. Uh, six twelve. Okay. You said password twelve. You said password six twelve. Okay. Hooray. <laughs> no, it worked. Okay. Kesha. Jay, I don't know if you'll get this before you depart, but I need to speak with you. The others have accelerated their research and achieved another milestone. If they continue at this pace, they will surely succeed. What can we do? Okay. 
I just received your out of instant reply. I was too late sending my message to you. However, I think I may have overreacted. I will check with our team's progress. Maybe there's a chance we may succeed it in time after all. I'll need you to I'll need to access your RSA system. I hope you haven't changed your access code recently. You always liked a little night music. Night music. That's our clue. Night music. Night music. Never heard that expression to refer to anything. And I'm, I'm going to have a hell of a time finding it because, of course, when I type in... When I type in uh, night music, I get relaxation sounds. Uh, Little Night Music is a musical with music and lyrics by Stephen Sondheim. 1955. It's a play inspired by a film, not the other way around. Huh. So is it 1955, 1973... You always liked a little night music. What's this? This is what makes this clue so terrible. The fuck is it possibly referring to? And I have no context for it. You always liked a little night music. Maybe that's a quote from something. Uh, apparently, if it is a quote, it's not one that's well known. Oh, God. Okay, is there anything else? No files. Our only clue right now is, to, is his access code it has something to do with night music. That's our clue. Fucking this fucking game. Can't even call it a puzzle. Think about what four-digit authorization code is mentioned. You already know the password you need to use. 1756. Now that I know what the actual thing is, what the actual access code is, let me see what the relevance is and how I was supposed to know that. A Little Bit of Night Music by Mozart. Which wasn't written until 1787. So, if it was written in 1787, 1756 refers to what? Mozart, the year he was born. Now, I may be a big dumb dumb who's dumb and stupid, but I'm not completely ignorant of Mozart. I have never heard of Mozart being referred to or being famous with whatever is known as night music. This is a single piece from Mozart, who wrote literally hundreds of pieces. I mean, this is definitely one of his most famous. 
sure. But when I hear night music, don't necessarily think Mozart immediately. So what I'm trying to say is, fuck you game, fuck you. That was... Yeah. Not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying it at all. This is not a fun puzzle game. Um, you're right. The website is hilarious. I absolutely love the last one on their homepage. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Thanks for sharing. I know how much you enjoy these kinds of things, so I thought you might like mistexts.com. I don't answer the phone, Mary just called my cell and wants to talk to us. Aha! I still don't know I'm not feeling well, so I should be at the game soon. Um... I mean, there's that. Okay. All right. I just noticed something. And I'm going to preemptively call this out. And if I turn out to be wrong, I'm going to look like an even bigger dum dum. But I noticed that one word on this website is in single quotes, which is generally uh, indicates that it's the keyword, like a hint or something uh, for the next password. Now this message was sent by Kesha to Jacob, and I presume that what we're trying to do now is get into Kesha's system for some reason. The plot was lost a long time ago, and nothing I'm doing now relates at all to anything that makes any kind of sense in any universe. But I noticed that one word on this web page from Kesha has single quotes. If you look to the exchange with Bruce at the far right, you'll see it says, Miss you, miss you too. Oops, I thought you were my wife. Your wife must be pretty quote unquote ugly. And I'm going to tell you right now if the password to Kesha's system is ugly, I quit. Because this doesn't make any sense. This is your last chance, game. Your absolute last chance. If the answer is ugly, quit. Quit. 